Hey y'all, so I'm hoping that this will be the start of a regular Tip Tuesday series. So what that means is basically every Tuesday or every other Tuesday or random Tuesdays when I have an idea, um, I will hop on just for a quick minute and we'll share uh, a tip that will hopefully help you to make the most out of your Savvy Minerals makeup. Today's tip is on foiling. And I thought it was a good idea to do foiling as my first tip because I mentioned foiling in my previous video about Savvy Minerals myths. If you didn't check that out and you don't know what I'm talking about, well, you can watch it after this video, but basically foiling is the process of introducing moisture to a shimmery or metallic eyeshadow to help intensify the shine and opacity of that eyeshadow. Now, introducing moisture to any other color powder type product like uh, matte eyeshadows or blush or whatever is also going to intensify the opacity and color saturation of that eyeshadow. It's just not called foiling because foiling is um, in reference to like aluminum foil. So it means shiny, basically a shiny result. Um, and you don't really get that with uh, matte eyeshadows and blushes and things like that. So you can kind of use the same techniques. It's just not called the same thing for whatever reason, but anyway. I'm going to show you a few options for foiling your eyeshadows, and I'm also going to show you um, a few different eyeshadows, some lighter ones and some darker ones, um, so that you can kind of see the difference and how with the kind of effects that you get. So let's start with just a swatch of the regular shadow. Okay, so here on my hand, if you can see that, <laughs> I have residual, spoiled, and determined. And um, now I'm going to use the first option for foiling, and that is basically just misting your brush and dabbing it into your eyeshadow. I like to put mine in the cap. It just makes it a little bit easier to pick up and spread around and mix and all that. Okay, so I've done it for all three of the other shadows. And as you can see, especially in these darker colors, you get a way more intense, way more saturated. And look at that, way shinier. Um, result that way. It basically kind of turns it into a cream type shadow when you incorporate the moisture, but unlike regular traditional emollient type cream shadows, using the misting spray to do this doesn't give it any slip, so it sets down dry and then it stays all day, y'all. I took a picture of my makeup first thing in the morning, and then I also took a picture of it in the afternoon and I posted them side by side. You couldn't even really tell <laughs> a difference with my eye makeup from one picture, really all of my makeup, from one picture to the next. I mean, it really has stayed put really, really well. So that's the first way that you can foil your eyeshadow is just with a brush and some of the misting spray. If you don't have the misting spray, you could use water. You could also try something emollient like the, um, like the rose ointment. I'll show you what that looks like. So there you go, those are the three eyeshadows using the rose ointment. You still get quite a bit of shine and um, opacity from them. The only thing that I would say about using that method is if you have um, oily lids or hooded lids, I don't think that using um, something uh, creamy or emollient like the rose ointment or lavender lip balm would have as much staying power for you as using the misting spray because it's basically not going to set. Um, especially if you have oily lids. It might slip around and get creasy and whatever and you know. So if you have oily or hooded lids, you may want to try the uh, rose ointment or lip balm option on a day where you don't have anywhere to go just to test it out first. My favorite way though, and, the, and what I think is the easiest way to accomplish this is just to use my finger and some of the misting spray in the cap. I just spray a little bit, usually one spray into the cap with some minerals in there and then I rub my finger around. I, I find whenever I do my, the, my finger is the easiest thing. And there you go, I went ahead and did the other ones for you. Um, and I just find that I get a, a better result when I use my finger. I don't know why, but I feel like this is more true to color. Um, and and the shine on it is, if you could see this, there, that's a better option. That's a better view. You can see it's way more intense. Um, especially the residual, way more intense. The spoiled almost takes on a duochrome kind of look, and then the um, the silver shimmer really comes out, and it looks way more bronzy um, with my finger than with any of the other ones. So, um, so I really, really, really prefer my finger. And when I'm applying um, foiled shadows, it's typically just to my lid. Uh, I don't do 
shimmery shadows in my crease. Sometimes I'll do it a little bit on the outer corner and, and in that instance a brush is better. But just to lay it down on my lid, which is what I typically do, my finger is, is the best method. I get the best color payoff from it and you know it's just easy and I like doing it in the lid because you don't waste anything the next time I want to do I want to foil one of these eyeshadows I've already got some in there and I'm going to keep reusing it so um, so nothing goes to waste whereas if I were to put it on a palette or do it on my hand I'd have something to clean up and then I'm wasting some of the product and I don't I don't really want to do that so um, so the lid works perfectly fine for me so there you go and um, there, there's three different options for how to foil your um, eyeshadows. I would love to hear from you um, if you have any other tips and tricks for foiling um, or which one of these you prefer or if you've tried one or the other and have an opinion about your favorite or something like that. Um, and also let me know if you if you try it and you notice an, an improvement in the longevity of your eyeshadow because I really think that you will. So um, so anyway, that's my tip Tuesday on foiling. I hope that it was helpful for you. If it was and you enjoyed this video, please give this video a big old thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. It doesn't cost anything. And if you're interested, you can also find me on Facebook at Savvy Girls Guide or Instagram at Savvy Girls Guide underscore YL. I would love to talk with you there too. That's it for me this time. Thank y'all so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.